हेलो डी एस स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई सी ई अकेडमी बेनिफेक्टर द टॉपिक ऑफ द क्लास इज डिफ्रेंस बिटवीन सीरियल एडर एंड पैरल एडर द टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम द कॉम्बिनेशनल लॉजिक सर्किट द सब्जेक्ट नेम इज डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लेटेस्ट फर्स्ट सी द ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ सीरियल एडर एंड देन सी वॉट आर द डिफरेंस ऑफ सीरियल एंड पैरल एडर द सीरियल एडर इज कंसिस consisting of two shift registers right shift register a right shift register b it is of type serial in serial out siso right shift register b is also siso serial in serial out so serial input is coming and serial output is going here also in register a serial input serial output so two right shift registers and one full adder full adder is having three inputs a b carry in c in a b c in are the three inputs a is the output of register a right shift register a and b is the output from right shift register b and carry in is the output from the d flip flop the full adder output some output is going to the right shift register a as serial in and carry output is going as d input to the d flip flop okay right shift register a right shift register b and d flip flop these three these three circuits are given same clock pulse one 2 and 3 same clock pulse is given to right shift register a right shift register b and d flip flop this clear is used to make the d output initially zero because initially the carry will be zero okay so clear is used to make the d flip flop output initially zero sum is connected to serial in of a register right shift register a and carry out is connected to d flip flop and the output of d flip flop is connected as c in i hope the diagram is clear let us understand what this diagram is telling about so a full adder is used to perform bit by bit addition and d flip flop is used to store the carry output generated after addition d flip flop can store one bit of information so it is storing the carry out generated after the addition this carry is used as the the carry stored in the d flip flop is used as carry in that is the input for the next addition initially the d flip flop is cleared and addition starts with least significant bits of both register a and b after each clock pulse data within right shift registers are shifted right after every clock pulse the bit in the right shift register is shifting one bit towards right and we get the next digit and carry of the previous addition as new inputs for the full adder by loading the number in register a right shift register b and adding with the content of register a serial addition is performed so from here we will go on giving the numbers so bit by bit addition is performed for doing the serial addition in using serial adder so what are the main points in the serial adder the serial adder uses shift registers the serial adder requires only one full adder circuit third point the serial adder is a sequential circuit because of shift registers and d flip flop the time required for addition depends on number of bits 
the time required for the addition depends on number of bits. Serial adder is slow because it is doing bit by bit addition. Okay, so, last significant bit of A number is added with the LSB of B number. That LSB bits are going to full adder and addition is performed. Then next bit is coming. Then next bit is coming at every clock pulse. Then those two bits are added in the full adder. So, these are used for storing a number A and this number A bits are moving one at a time at the arrival of every clock pulse one bit towards right and getting added in the full adder. So, bit of A, bit of B carry input are added in the full adder and again the sum is stored in the right shift register A. Okay. This is all about serial register, serial adder. Now, let us see what is parallel adder. So, parallel adder we have seen it in detail in our previous class you can refer it there. So, I have quickly for your reference I have drawn the n bit parallel adder comprising of n full adders. So, this dotted means there are n number of full adders. Full adder inputs are a, b, c, c in. So, the for first full adder the inputs are a 0, b 0, c in. The outputs of full adder are sum and carry s 0 and c out. For the next full adder a 1, b 1 carry in output is c out and s 1. For the third full adder inputs are a 2, b 2 output is sum s 2 and c out. And the same c out will act as c in for the next one and so on. This is the nth full ladder. So, inputs are a n b n with the carry c in, output is sum s n and c out. So, what is happening? Here we are adding two numbers a and b, but all the bits are loaded at a time in the full adder and we are getting the sum s 0, s 1, s 2, s n at a time. So, it is a faster compared to the serial adder. In serial adder addition is done bit by bit at every clock pulse the addition is done. So, it is a slow compared to parallel adder. So, what are the important points in parallel adder? The number of full adder circuits in parallel adder circuit is equal to number of bits in the binary numbers in the binary numbers of A and B. It is a combinational circuit. Time required for addition does not depend on number of because it is parallel loading, parallel output. Parallel ladder is faster. By this you can easily find easily explain the differences of serial ladder and parallel ladder. So, initially draw the circuit diagram of serial ladder give the important points of serial ladder and then draw the parallel ladder diagram and prove that the parallel ladder is faster than serial ladder because of the parallel addition going on here serial addition is going on. I hope you have understood the class. If you have any queries you can post in the comment section. Thank you. Good luck students.